Hello, it's Mrs. Murder here, and I'm here with the 12th Bloody Genius is the title of this book. John Sanford is the author, and Virgil Flowers is our protagonist. Yes, this is the last book. Well, he wrote this in 2019, so I don't know if John Sanford plans to write anymore, but this was had a lot of red herrings. It had me all over the place and I was sure I knew what they were hiding from me and what I was going to find out and it turned out not to be that. I also thought that uh, everything I guessed, I took a wrong turn in that catacomb of library, but it takes place on a campus, University of Minnesota, a campus so he travels between Minneapolis and St. Paul, and it go, takes place in the library in a study carol, where at the beginning of the novel, a professor goes in, sneaks in in the middle of the night to his own personal carol, and he is bludgeoned with a computer. Now we have no way of knowing who, why, when. We do know where, because his body was then closed into the carol and found a couple days later when uh, it was locked so it's whenever something either seeped out or there was an odor i don't know all rather distasteful but we since he was a very wealthy professor not a pauper of a professor there were a lot of suspects who could possibly benefit from his demise this was uh this was different. It was very much different. You're dealing with different people working in not a small, I hate to say hick town, but it was not a small town, not in the back roads, not in the woods. It was in the city between St. Paul and Minneapolis and the University of Minnesota and different parts of the campus. So anybody who's more familiar with the campus than I would be who attended there Oh, so many years ago, I have to admit, so I don't know my way around there very well anymore. It doesn't even look the same, but it's, of course we don't want anything to stand still and nothing in this novel stands still. He is moving all the time. And there are, as always, uh, quite a list of characters, quite a lot of intrigue. There's quite a lot of corners that you'll turn. I was uh, surprised at, there's not a lot of what I would call sense of humor in this book. We started out this series when I started out reading them. Um, this is my 12th book. So the first three or four, I think I grouped together in my first review. But I started out with, um, the characters had a very unique sense of humor. And maybe it was because it's been a lot of years since I've been affiliated with the military. And so this is really kind of like a lot of uh, military talk, a lot of jargon that I was used to oh so many years ago when when I was affiliated with that. Not, not the way that professors or people in, uh, in uh, academia talk necessarily. In fact, they're probably severely reprimanded if they do uh, use some of the language that's used in some of these books, but by some of the characters, but then some of the characters, you understand it because they're, they're low life or if, if it was from a, a, a small town where they didn't have a lot of higher, but when you're in an institute of, institution of higher learning, I think you expected a whole lot more, but I mean, it wasn't from the professors. It was from it was from the people that were being investigated in regards to the murder. So it's quite, it's quite thrilling. It went very quickly. I think I'm reading these books too quickly and I could start over and read them from the first and find out I missed a lot because there's a lot of culture, a lot of very interesting scenery or very 
very interesting details about the university in here that I would enjoy. And anybody who's familiar with Minnesota, and, but anybody who likes a good mystery, he is really, really is an, an intriguing mystery writer. But as I said before, I probably won't be going into the prey murders. I might start out with just number one. And, and it's for, no. Oh, I looked it up and I knew the name of his first book, but the first prey book. Might read the first, no, if I read the first one, if I put my toe in the water, then I'm going to have to jump in. I know I am. So I'm going to leave you, Mrs. Murder, signing off for now with Bloody Genius. What a bloody genius. Really need to read this and find out what a bloody genius is. Ta-ta-ta for now.